welcome back to Gapey's Garden. Today I wanted to show you some of the finds that I got at the local plant swap. It's a plant swap that we have four times a year and every time I bring home something new. So this time let me show you what I got. I already planted everything in the garden. So the first thing I wanted to show you is this Egyptian walking onions. I think a lot of people are starting to hear about these um, but I picked up four of those. I've grown them before, but I either misplaced or got rid of the, the bulbs that mine produced, so I couldn't plant anymore. So I was happy to find those at the, the plant swap. And then let me show you some stuff that I got and planted in the herb garden. So I have a lot of stuff covered so the chickens don't get into it. Um, this bed I've got a bunch of leaves and I don't want them scattering them all over the place. So we have that covered and we also have the herb bed covered. But this corner over here, I have two things that I picked up at the plant swap. The first one is this longevity spinach. This is a perennial spinach and I think it gets fairly large so I hope this is enough room for it. If not, I might have to transplant it. But it's basically just a cutting off of it, so hopefully it roots. Um, it's been pretty wet, so I don't think that'll be a problem. And then we have Lovage, and it looks a lot like parsley. I haven't grown this before, but I, I actually didn't realize it was a perennial. But apparently it is, and it it's an herb that kind of tastes like celery. So I'm excited to grow that one in here. And I think it's already got some roots, so it should be okay. I'm going to cover that back up for the chickens. Okay, and then the rest of the stuff that I got at the plant swap is in the front yard. So let's go take a look. Alright, so I got two of these at the plant swap. This is yarrow. And I actually have a ton of yarrow, and even brought some to the plant swap, but all of mine is white, or either white or light pink. Um, but this one should hopefully be a different color. Um, the guy said he, he got a mix of different colored seeds, and he said it shouldn't be white, so hopefully we'll get some different colors. But I've got two of those, one there, and one there. And I did have some white yarrow in the spot, but I dug it all out uh, to make room for that. And I have tons of yarrow in other places in the garden, so I'm not going to miss it there. All right, let's take a look at some more stuff. There's the beehive. Looks like we have a few bees coming out, even though it's kind of rainy. They don't seem to mind. All right, let's go down this path to the north side of the house. This is where all the shade-loving plants live, and most of these I got at past plant swaps. This here is some ground cover of sedum, and this is all, I think most of it was stuff that I got at plant swaps. And I have a few different kind of sedums, and I'm not sure what they're called, but this is the one that is probably the most widespread in this area. And then I also picked up last year a variegated sedum, which is really pretty. And it's a little bit slower at spreading. It spread a little bit, but not too much. And then I also got the sedum here. And it's spreading a little bit as well. But the one that I picked up at the last seed swap I planted back here. And this one, she said she thinks it's called Dragon's Blood. So it's a little bit kind of a darker, has a little bit of red red in the leaves. So I've got, I think I got two of those. So I planted them both right here and hopefully they'll they'll spread around a little bit. And that's it on there. And then I got one more I wanted to show you. It's back here. And it's one that I haven't actually heard of before. And it is called Virginia cordifolia. And it's also another name for it is pig squeak. But it's got some kind of thick leathery like leaves. Um, it doesn't get very tall. It does spread 
and it gets pink flowers in the spring. That is supposed to be good for the bees. So we'll see how that grows. I have a lot of room for it to expand if it needs to. And these ones are already lots of roots on them, so hopefully they'll be okay in this area. It gets lots of shade, which it should like. And then a lot of this, most of the stuff back here is stuff that I've gotten from seed swaps or plant swaps like the sorrel. Um, I don't even know what some of this stuff is. This yellow Cory Dallas has really taken over back here. All of that was just from one plant that I got like I think two or three years ago. Um, and then there's just one more thing I wanted to show you that I got at this last swap. So people bring indoor and outdoor plants, but I usually just stick to the outdoor stuff. But I did get this one that I need to keep indoors for the winter. This is a, a sweet potato. It's a Molokai sweet potato. And it's just basically um, just started rooting. So there's not really, it's not very big right now, but it should actually leaf when it goes inside and then we'll plant it out into the garden in the spring and hopefully it'll grow a bunch of sweet potato babies. And then this little pile over here is stuff that I brought to the plant swap but I didn't get rid of. So I just brought it back home and I might just throw it in the compost. But you can see all this yarrow. This is all the yarrow that I dug up in that one area. And then I also have some crocosmia bulbs that I picked out of the garden. And I may do a post on Facebook, see if anybody wants it before I compost it. But that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you again soon.